everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 6 inch Black Panther hero figure from Hasbro. Now this figure is said to be a Walmart exclusive here in the United States. However, I don't know when it'll actually be released here in the United States. It will see a release overseas starting next week at places like Robot Kingdom. So if you want to get this figure early or not have to deal with Walmart, that's probably the best place to check it out. And I'll put a link to the pre-order for this figure from Robot Kingdom in the video description below. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style that we've been seeing with all the Marvel Legends figures. Up at the top you've got the Legend Series logo, then the figure's clearly displayed in the window box. Down below you've got the Black Panther logo and you've got the purple highlights to match the figure. On the side of the packaging you just have some artwork for Black Panther and then on the top of the packaging you have the Black Panther symbol. On the back of the packaging you have an image of the actual figure, a brief bio in multiple languages, and then because this is a store exclusive, there's no other figure shown on the bottom. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now originally when this figure was first announced, I thought this was going to be a movie figure. We do see Black Panther in the upcoming movie where he's got the purple kind of surging through his outfit, the purple energy. And so that's what I thought this figure was based on. But then after some further research, it actually looks like this is a comic book based figure. An outfit that he wore last year in the comics had this purple outline and everything. So this definitely looks like it's more of the comic book version than a movie version. Okay, so we'll start off by looking at the figure itself. Now this figure incorporates the Spider-Man UK mold. It is the same mold, same arms, same legs, and same feet. Even the closed fists are the same. And the only difference between these two figures is there is a hole in the back of this Black Panther figure, which was not included with the original Spider-Man UK mold. I don't know if this is the first time they've added a hole to this mold, and there's not a real reason for the hole on this particular figure. It's not like he comes with a cape or anything. I guess if you have a flight stand, you can use that, which would be nice. But again, I don't know why they included the hole on this figure. But otherwise, you know, like I said, the sculpt is pretty much the same as that Spider-Man UK. Now these clawing hands, I believe these are the same clawing hands that we saw on the previous Walmart exclusive Black Panther figure. I do think they are the same. Though I'm not 100% because they do look like maybe they're a little bit shaped differently. They're definitely not movie hands, Black Panther movie hands. So I don't know, but that's as close as I can match them up is, is from that previous Black Panther movie figure. And then, like I said, uh, everything else except for the head sculpt is a reuse. We do also get this necklace piece, which is a separate piece that you can remove. I don't really like the way it looks on the figure. I don't think it fits that great on it. And really no paint detail on it. It's just a, a gray type, rubbery type plastic. You do have a little bit of sculpting detail on the amulet here with the cat head, but I do think it would have looked better if they had sculpted it on there, kind of like we see with the movie figures. But nevertheless, you can remove it if you don't like the look of it. And then the head sculpt, this looks like is a new head sculpt. At first, I thought maybe it was a repaint of the movie head sculpt because the ears are very similar, but it is different from that one. And it's definitely not a reuse of the head sculpt from the previous Black Panther figure that we got. It, it is a totally new head sculpt from that one. And I like the overall look of it. I like the way the ears look. He's got the yellow eyes and then he's got the purple markings, which as I mentioned before, I believe is supposed to be vibranium energy surging throughout the suit. And you've got the purple here on his chest and up here on his back shoulders and here on his lower arms and hands and then also down here on his lower legs and feet. And the rest of the figure is just done with a basic black color. And the overall paint applications are pretty solid as far as the line work with all this purple. I do have a little bit of a paint blemish here on his left arm where you can see some purple got onto the black. But otherwise they've done a pretty solid job with this it figure. It also comes with an alternate head. So this is the same sculpt as the one that's attached to the figure when you first take it out of the packaging with the purple markings. Only you now don't have the purple markings when he's not using his powers. I believe you know, the suit basically looks all black. So they've given you this alternate head. The only other 
other difference is the eyes, they're white on this one as opposed to yellow on, on the one with the purple stripes. But sculpt wise, they are the same. And switching out the heads is pretty easy. You just pop it off, it attaches with a ball hinge joint. And like I mentioned before, if you pop the head off, then you can take off the necklace if you want to. And then just pop on the alternate head. And that joint will move a little bit around on you since there is a hinge joint. But once you pop it on, it should fit nice and tight. You also get two different pairs of hands, as I mentioned before. So you get a pair of clawing hands and then a pair of close fisted hands. Now, the more I look at these clawing hands, the more I don't think these are just reissues of the hands from the previous Black Panther figure. The fingers look a little bit differently shaped. I haven't really taken the time to match them up, but I don't think they're from the actual original Black Panther figure. Or I should say the one that's also a Walmart exclusive. And switching out the hands is easy. You just pop off the hand you want to replace. You got the little peg on the hand and the hole in the arm. The hands are pretty rubbery, so you've got a lot of flexibility with those, at least the open hands. And then you just plug in the hand that you want to replace it with, and it should snap in there and fit nice and tight. And then the final thing you get with this figure are these energy effect pieces, which you can put on the figure's hand. We've seen these before with figures like Iron Fist. Now these are done with a translucent plastic that's purple to kind of match the rest of the figure. And I guess this is supposed to be vibranium energy. And again, you want to make sure that you have the fists, the closed fists on the figure if you're going to use these, but then you can just kind of uh, push it over the fist and should fit nice and tight on there so it looks like he's punching with that energy effect. In case you're wondering, these uh, energy effects will fit on the hands of the most recent Wonder Man figure that Hasbro did. You know, Wonder Man is another character who has a tendency to use purple type energy. So these effects might be something you want to use with him. Okay, and this figure stands, if you count to the tips of his ears, right about six and a half inches tall. Here's a comparison with the most recent comic book based Black Panther figure, which was also a Walmart exclusive. And then the most recent Black Panther movie figure Hasbro did. Here's a comparison of the Spidey UK figure as well as the Captain Universe figure, both of which use the same mold. And then finally, here's a comparison with some other recent Avengers. So we've got Jane Foster Thor, the Invincible Iron Man, and Falcon Cap. Okay, so for articulation on this figure, you can turn the head to the left and to the right, and it's on a ball hinge joint so he can look down good, and he can look up pretty good as well. Really doesn't have any pivot to the left and the right though. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulder, so you can get his arm out good and get it up about that much. You've got good rotation there at the shoulder. He's got a bicep swivel, double hinged elbow, so good bending there at the elbow, and then you've got rotation at the hands and hinges on the hands, so up and down movement there. He's got an ab crunch type joint, so he can crunch over pretty good and then he can look back about that much. He's got a waist swivel, legs he can only do the splits about that much. He can get his legs up high and then he can do his legs out and back. He's got a thigh swivel, double hinge knee so good bending at the knee and then he's got a boot cuff swivel, hinges on the feet so up and down movement and he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I would say this is a pretty good figure, especially if you're a fan of this version of Black Panther with the energy surge through the costume. It would have been kind of cool if they had made the purple glow in the dark, use glow in the dark paint or something. That would have been a cool added effect. But as it is, I think the figure looks pretty good. The only thing I don't really like about it is the necklace. I don't think it fits that well on it, but again, it is removable, so that doesn't bother me too much. I think it's a good use of the Spidey UK mold and glad they didn't just reuse the Bucky Cap mold like we'd seen on the previous Black Panther figure. And so like I said, if you're a fan of this version of Black Panther, I think this is one you'll want to check out. Now this figure will be released or is said to be released as a Walmart exclusive here in the United States. I don't have any kind of release date for when we'll see it here in the United States. As I mentioned before, Robot Kingdom, which is an overseas e-tailer, will be offering this figure and should start shipping it early next week. So if you want to pick it up now, that's the place to go for it. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.